So Iconics today has 27 brands. Um, we do roughly $12 billion in sales with all this IP that we have purchased around the world. Um, you know, we, we sell ourselves as a model with no risk because we have a very low overhead. We have a guaranteed royalty for 70% of our top line, no inventory risk, no capex, uh, pretty guaranteed EBITDA. And um, you know, we kind of only do the top blue stuff where we just do the marketing, licensing, and trend. We have about 100 young people in our office, about 30 of them working on social networking and advertising. Walk into our place, we're an ad agency. We're a glorified advertising agency with a couple of product people. We are an ad agency that happens to own IP. And that's how we market ourselves, and that's one of the added value that we sell to all our clients. Traditional company on the left, let's say a Liz Claiborne or a Jones & York, they do everything on the left here. How can you do everything well? How do you do all those things on the 20 different brands? And um, that was our thesis four or five years ago, that if we just do marketing and we give the sourcing to Kohl's, we give the sourcing to Walmart, we give the sourcing to you guys, we'll find experts who know what the hell they're doing, um, rather than me trying to go fire a designer who's going to have a problem with his life and then the whole friggin' thing falls